Hey everyone, this is Matt from Wedge Guys. We're going to start sending out some videos every now and then, uh, answering some frequently asked questions, some swing tips, uh, short game tips, stuff like that. Uh, so be sure to check your inbox, uh, check our YouTube channel, check our Instagram. So we're going to be posting those every now and then. Uh, the first thing we're going to touch on today is going to be when you're gripping your club, one of the things we hear from people from time to time is that the grip gets stuck halfway on and they can't get it all the way. Uh, so we're going to address what's the cause of that, how to avoid it. Uh, but I'm going to start by first thing saying is, is the grip should go on pretty easy. So if at any point you feel like the grip is getting stuck, rip that grip back off. Uh, you can usually get it pretty quickly. If you, if you feel like there's tension at all, if the grip is going to get stuck and you pull it back off, the grip's going to come off uh, and you can reuse it. This way you're not going to waste the grip. You don't have to try to force its way on, get stuck, and then have to cut it off. Uh, so my suggestion is, again, just don't force it. If you feel that tension, take it back off and start over. Um, but I'm also going to cause or uh, touch on the fact of what can cause that grip to get stuck. Uh, the first thing that we're going to say is, is pretty simple, and it sounds like it, everybody should know it, uh, but it's going to be with the grip tape. And with the grip tape, there's two sides. So the first side that we're going to remove is the one with the writing on the back, and then we're going to remove the side that's split down the middle. But we have to make sure we're removing both sides of the backing to get the grip on fully. Um, a lot of times, people will forget to remove one of the sides, and that doesn't allow the grip to slide the way it should. So make sure we're removing both sides of the grip tape before we're putting it on. Uh, the second thing, um, and probably the most common thing really, that people do is when they remove the old grip and the old tape, they use something to remove the old residue of the tape. Um, sometimes it's goo gun, sometimes we use WD-40 or Windex or, or grip solid. And if you're doing that, it leaves behind a film on the shaft. And if there's a film on the shaft, it's going to not allow that grip tape to fully adhere the way it should. So if you do do that, and that's fine if you do, just make sure you dry the shaft properly before you put the grip tape on. Because if you don't, and that grip tape is on here and it's not fully adhering, it's going to get bunched up underneath the grip and cause that grip to get stuck. So make sure you're drying that shaft properly before you even start the process. And then lastly, the final thing is going to be, with the grip solvent, make sure we're using plenty of grip solvent. Again, we use a paint tray or something similar like that to catch the excess solvent so we can reuse it. So once you use this, it could be reused again. So if you're catching it, you can put it back in the bottle, grip the next clubs. And this should be enough to do multiple sets, not just a few clubs. So what I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to grip a club just so you can kind of see how easy it should be. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below, uh, message us on Instagram, message us on Facebook, send it to our website. Uh, we're here to help. Any question is fine. Uh, feel free to reach out. Again, you can see just how easy that grip slides on. Using plenty of solvent, make sure the grip tape is fully adhered to the shaft. You should have no issue. Again, if you start to feel it go halfway on, even now, that grip will still move around. I could slide it off if I need to. So if you feel it get stuck, slide it off, restart. 